Hello everyone and in today's tutorial I will show you how to remove a number plate in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is go to file open and find the image you want to edit. Then what we're going to do is go to layer section, double click on the background layer and name this one backup. Then what we're going to do is click on the backup layer, right click it and click duplicate layer and then name this one main which is the layer we're going to use to remove the number plate. Now what we're going to do is go to your zoom layer uh, tool or the Z on your keyboard and then zoom in on the number plate as much as you can but make sure that the whole number plate is visible on your screen. Then what we're going to do is go to your clone stamp tool which is the S letter on your keyboard. If you can't find it go to your window, workspace and make sure essentials is on. Then we're going to go to your brush which is your clone stamp tool brush and then select the size of the brush you want. Now for this effect I'm not going to go too small but if you really want to be um, careful with your work and uh, precise you may want to use a smaller brush but for this instance I'm just going to use a 35 brush and just going to remove the letter P just for this example because it takes about five minutes to do the whole work neatly if you really want to. So the first thing you'll do, as you see here, is click Alt, which samples the pixels around uh, the, but basically inside the brush which you have selected. So click Alt and then click onto the background of the number plate. Make sure it's not on the characters and then just go over, just like a normal brush, the characters and numbers of the number plate, which removes them. As you see, it's quite neat and you just want to keep resampling by clicking ALT which really makes uh, the job quite easy to be fair because you can resample different colors as you can see it's already kind of the grays aren't really matching but if you want to be more careful you can deselect the opacity to a smaller opacity and really just work around it but if you're just doing a quick job this is pretty fine and you can always increase the size brush if you really want to so for now we got our 44 and as you can see it works pretty faster uh, and that's that. So let's just remove the P, just go around it. The really trick to this job is just doing it. It's not really that hard when you kind of find out how to do it. Uh, this works for many other things as well if you want to remove objects or people and photos. But there are many other techniques as well. So as you see here that worked pretty well. I can even bump up my brush again and that looks pretty neat. It doesn't look great, but you can tell it's removed. If you know it's removed, but if you zoom out, you can't really see that it was there anyway. So if you do all the characters, of course, that works better. And if you need any help with this tutorial, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Peace out.